This alternate way to view the solar eclipse involves reflecting the sun off of a sheet of glass. This is just a picture frame that I don't need. So I'm popping the clips off here so that we get a nice plate of glass that we can use outside. Simple sheet of glass like this. Uh, depending on the angle that you have with respect to the sun, you get more or less reflection. You can see the reflection of my, uh, my lamp there, fluorescent lamp. Uh, but most of the light goes right through it, like 90 something percent. If you have a reflection off of two plates, then you can kind of control how much uh, reflection you get uh, if you're careful with how you do it. Also, you could take advantage of the TE and TM polarized waves having different reflections if you get the angles just right. Here's the same piece of glass. I just want to illustrate the reflection uh, issue. You can see the shadow of my hand here. You probably can't even see the glass. It's almost clear. Uh, and as you turn the glass, that, that uh, shadow gets darker because more light's getting reflected. And now you can see the reflection of the sunlight and uh, the shadow together. So as the, get, as the shadow gets darker, more light is reflected. As the, sh as the uh, shadow goes clearer, more light is, less light is reflected. So the um, theory is if you can bounce off of a couple pieces of glass, you can look at the sun directly, well, indirectly. Okay, so if you do this just right, you can get the sun to reflect off a second piece of glass that's already reflecting off a first piece of glass. It's hard to see the glass right here, but here it is. So the light's coming in, bouncing off of that, and then I hold this piece up and try to find the reflection there for the uh, second piece of, of uh, the second part of the sunlight. I think my arm's blocking it there a little bit. And uh, you can almost dial in. The sun's kind of going in and out of the uh, clouds. But you can almost dial in the reflection there. Uh, now obviously you're looking through the glass too, which isn't so good. So what I would suggest is spray painting the backside of the glass with black paint so that it absorbs. Uh, also what you could do is uh, maybe use a black sheet of paper or, or even some black uh, uh, washable paint or something so that you can clean the glass off later and reuse it. Uh, so this is a possible way to, to look at the eclipse. Uh, you might even need a third piece of glass to do it because it's kind of bright to look at directly still. Uh, I can almost look at it right now with my bare eyes, but that's probably not a good idea. So I would recommend uh, trying to get a third piece here, uh, potentially, or make sure you have sunglasses on uh, at least to do it.